All right, welcome back. Time for this week's winners and losers. Abdul, I'll start with you. Oh, my big winner this week is obviously Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb. Uh, like I said, uh, the court's dismissing uh, Attorney General Todd Rakita's lawsuit. That was the right decision to make, and it doesn't bode well uh, for the Attorney General uh, with the substance here that's coming up in September. My loser of the week, unfortunately, are the citizens of Indianapolis. I did some checking on our crime prevention grant data. Uh, we spent $17 million uh, over the past five, six years in crime prevention grant dollars, and our murder rate just goes up every, every year. Continues to be a big issue in the city of Indianapolis. Laura? I have two winners, Representative Tony Cook and members of the Indiana General Assembly, recognizing the importance in terms of educating students about government before they become voters, which keeps them engaged and educated citizens throughout their lifetime. And my other winner is Zelia Avant-Garde. She won the National Spelling Bee with the term Mariah, which means a jasmine type tree. I didn't know that, but it's great because they had to suspend that competition last year. So we know the world's opening up again by having it this year. Yeah, that, that was great to see uh, for sure. Robin? Winner is, is Eric Adams, the new mayor of, of New York. This is a guy that campaigned rightly on criminal justice, but also justice for those who are served by the police departments. The other, the loser, has got to be those people that are still out there that refute the coming Delta variant and its impact. Mike, 15 seconds. Well, first of all, Dr. Wilson just uh, is for uh, civics because it's going to produce more political science. That's matters. right. There That's, you go. self-interest. <laughs> but the winner is actually Dr. Jen Sullivan, the retiring yeah, uh, FSSA commissioner, yeah. outstanding public servant. Yeah. Charlotte is the winner there. All right. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. We have much more coming up on Fox News Sunday and Face the Nation. We'll see you again next Sunday in Focus.